Nah. When we look to the right, you know, a lot of people always see this, this you know, this is how the general come. You know what I'm saying? I give it to you like you're supposed to get it. And what you're looking at to the right, you're looking at Africa top side up. A lot of people say, oh, it's upside down. No, nigga, it ain't upside down. It's top side up. You understand what I'm saying? Because why is it that way? You know, from our orientation, you got to understand African orientation and the starting point. You see, we came from the beginning of the Nile. In the beginning of the Nile, if you look to the right, you look all the way up Central East Africa, right up there with King Tut's um, a burial mass is, and you see a, a lake. You see the river coming to the lake. That's the source of the White Nile. You see one branch going over to the left. That's Lake Tana. Very little small dot, but that's only in comparison to the map. You know what I'm saying? So the Blue Nile comes out of Ethiopia. And so in the writings of the ancient Egyptians, they made it very profoundly understood that they came from the beginning of the Nile. And we're going to show in all the spiritual, uh, all the historical evidence that this is exactly the truth and there is no other truth. See, we got to put this shit to the end. You got niggas talking about aliens landing and gave the Egyptians knowledge. Some niggas came from up under the water with some wisdom and shit and got peoples in the earth and, you know, all type of crazy shit. Everything to deny the African the truth of being the originators of the greatest civilizations. And that's what Because when we talk about the Nile Valley, it's not just Egypt. You got you got Egypt, but you got you go up and you see uh, uh, Kush, you see uh, uh, Ta-Nehisi, Taseti, and you even go all the way to the southern extremity, right around the Horn of Africa, and you got the civilization which they call Punt that a lot of people don't talk about. You know, they don't talk about Pum, but it's documented. You understand? Because we have at least six, seven pros that documented that went to Pum. You understand what I'm saying? And people don't, matter of fact, I got something, matter of fact, I got something on it today. I can bring it up because this, this is one of the areas that, you know, I, don't, I, didn't, I haven't tapped in, you know, as far as the people and giving up because it's so much. You know what I'm saying? But most definitely, we're going to tap in to the civilization of ancient Pum. You know what I'm saying? And so the thing is, when you're looking at Africa, the physicality of Africa, the richness of not, you know, a lot of people think of the richness of, you know, the minerals and, you know what I'm saying, and so on and so forth, the resources. And, but we also have to think about food resources. And so when you think about Africa, it's full of so many animals. You understand what I'm saying? It's, you know, and it's full of so much, you know, even from when you go up to the Great Lakes region and it don't, this map don't particularly show all the Great Lakes up there. You see Lake, the criminally renamed Lake Victoria, but, you know, you also got Lake uh, Tanganyika, you got Lake uh, Malawi. Let me see this one on, this one don't show it either. You know what I'm saying? But most definitely, wait a minute, If I, where's military geography at? And find some things, you know, but we'll get to that. You know what I'm saying? We'll get to that. And so, you know, you got the Great Lakes, which is fresh water, and people got to be clear about that. The Great Lakes region of Africa is the second largest fre fresh water system of lakes behind the fresh water lakes of Michigan. You see what I'm saying? If you go to them, and you know, those are also freshwater lakes. And so the thing that's very critical, because these are the largest fresh lake, freshwater lakes in the tropical region. You see what I'm saying? And so though you could go into uh, South America, you can go over into Southern Asia, and they got tropical regions, but they're not blessed with all the Jews that Africa has. So not only does Africa have tropical regions, it also has the freshwater lakes. And that's very, very significant. You understand what I'm saying? Because within the Congo, with the rainforest, you know, you have, uh, you know, over 10,000 medicines, you know, herbs and natural herbs that come from the earth coming about the Congo. Plus, it, it, it is the lungs, lungs of the planet. 
You know, understand? I was, you know, outside of the Amazon rainforest, the Congo rainforest is the second largest rainforest on the planet. And so it's next to uh, the second largest freshwater system on the planet. And that's very, very significant. No other area on the planet has so many uh, natural gems and jewels. We ain't even talking about the damn minerals. We're not even talking about the minerals. We're talking about the natural herbs and vegetation and oxy oxygen. You see what I'm saying? And the fresh water, meaning you got uh, fresh water, uh, uh, marine life, fish, and so on and so forth. Even though the Cro-Magnum Neanderthal then took his ass over there and and you know added you know a uh, 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 foreign uh, element, foreign fish to the damn lake. Because they'll go over there and suck every damn fish out the damn water. And, and, you know, just like they do with the minerals. You know, they'll go over there and suck all the damn. It won't be a fish left in the motherfucker if you let them. And then, see, this is another thing that we got to talk about when we talk about this gas certified. You know, I just don't come and say, oh, this the pyramid. Fuck, you know, we got to get down to the political uh, 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 in depth you know, truth that we must practice today. You understand to get free. And so, you know, the thing is we can have all these things and we and we we had all these things, but this beast is in Africa. He's pillaging. He's pillaging. You understand what I'm saying? In every blue moon, you will get a shining star that'll speak up. And yeah, but he, his hand is still there and he's still, you know, reckless and not only the you know you got the Arab and you got his nigga minions and I include them all in the package deal. You understand what I'm saying? And so you know the thing is as you as we speak about these things, what we have in order to have it again, we're gonna have to bring a very very heavy hand down on the perpetrators of crime crimes against Africa and African people. Not gonna do that. Nigga, you ain't. You can talk all you want. You can talk all the facts you want, nigga. Don't mean a damn thing. You see what I'm saying? It don't mean a damn thing. And so when we teach, we teach from a revolutionary standpoint that it's gonna have to be some physicality. And a lot of niggas wanna run to spiritual. And ain't nothing wrong. But even within the African spirituality, you are gonna see that the majority of African deities in the Nile Valley is damn military. You understand what I'm saying? Because they came about in, in a time where, you know, African people had to be militaristic about their homeland because you had so many foreigners that understood these facts that I'm telling you about today. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, they, 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 you know, so, you know, they, they, you know, they know a whole lot of things about these facts that we talking today. You see what I'm saying? And they in their pillaging, even when I was in Ethiopia. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, uh, you know, you had the Arabs and shit. They had land over in Ethiopia that they had bought. And they had just miles and miles and miles and miles of greenhouses. Man, listen here. This shit almost looked like some shit off of a damn uh, futuristic movie. It was so many greenhouses and shit. Because you could, as we was riding down the, 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 the highway, you can, you, I mean, we was riding, and I mean, I'm just talking about the length of the highway. You, you know, you could count at least, you know, 20, 20 rows on each side. And, but then you look down, you know, how many was going, you know, the, the width of the, you know, you know, how many was going the opposite direction, not just the length, but the width. You know what I'm saying? And so you had 20, the length of the highway. And it looked like it was goddamn 20 going, you know, the width of the, you know, the land. And so, you know what I'm saying? So it, it could have been well, you know, it could it have been well over 400 goddamn greenhouses. On e and then you will ride down five more miles and it'll start over again. So the, these motherfuckers then bought land in, in Africa and they're growing food in Africa and they're shipping it back to their homeland. People don't know that. You know what I'm saying? People don't know that. And so, you know, that's why I've been these other these usurpers on the continent and people are, you know, under the impression that they respect us or respect 
you know, uh, African people in general, and they don't. They usurpers in the land, and a lot of people just don't want to tell on them. And I don't got no motherfucking problem in saying anything about motherfucking ass because if we don't, we ain't going to have shit. We ain't going to have no place on this planet. You know what I'm saying? So we have to say what it is in order to make the, the necessary changes. And so this is one of the profound, uh, uh, you know, you know, the, the natural resource. We're not even talking about the goddamn minerals. And you know what I'm saying? Because those are more profound. Yes, there's many natural properties of these, uh, uh, these, you know, these precious minerals, but these is more, those are more for the, the trinklets, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, there's some power in it, but full clothing and shelter and shit, the, the trinklet, the gems became more profound, you know, when those who had never seen, the, you know, the precious minerals, then they came in pursuing and digging and goddamn pillaging and fleecing the goddamn lands. You see what I'm saying? And so, you know, and so when you look at Egypt and, you know, a lot of the gold, you know, uh, deposits came up out of Nubia. You see, if you look down and you can see all of the, you know, the different uh, uh, minerals that uh, granite, gold, uh, natron, limestone, alabaster. So this is for building. No, and that's another thing. Not too many areas had the, the various, you know, uh, stone uh, deposits. And you know what I'm saying? And so you have various like the red granite. That's down in Aswan that if we you know we're gonna be showing on the uh pyramid of Sneferu. You understand what I'm saying? And the, and I'm gonna show you the power of our people, not just carving the stone, but selling it. And, you know, and a lot of information is very new to me, you know, because I'm I'm just extending my hand and my mind in all areas of knowledge in dealing with our people to prove hands down that we brought civilization to the whole planet. And so when you see, you know, the gold down in Nubia, so when you look at these gold uh, sarcophagus and, you know, all the jewels and see it was the Nubians that were the master craftsmen, you know, even the little, the little twat that people call the pygmy when I was going into a lot of the, the master bars and that's the, you know, the sacred tombs of the nobles, you would see the twat on the wall and they were crafting certain jewelry and certain necklaces and they, they were there doing that. You know what I'm saying? And so we look at our people today and all they, you know, thinking we just roaming around a fucking jungle or something. No, a majority of our people had some gifted skills and, you know, in a lot of areas and all of them in particular had you know, various is a skills and it all came together on the now and made it the most profound civilization that has ever existed on the planet. You could stack all other civilizations together and put them against Egypt and it ain't going, it ain't going to amount to one, say 2%. It ain't going to even amount to 2% of the greatness of ancient Egypt. And that might be too much. And people say I'm being, no, I'm not. People just don't understand what is in Egypt, okay? And not just Egypt, what is in the Nile Valley in general. You see what I'm saying? And so when you see here, we're looking at, uh, you know, uh, the, the color of, uh, map of Africa, you know, showing, you know, you know, when we say it started in the beginning of the Nile, then we, we know it started in, in the in the world of blackness and no doubt about that you know what i'm saying black black people come in all various of colors all different beautiful shades of blackness you see what i'm saying but we always have to stay founded in that root which is the black of the black you understand because black produces all colors you see what i'm saying and so even from the darkest black man you understand to the albino african you see what I'm saying? In all colors in between, it is from the foundation of the black because it can't go the other way. The black can produce all other colors, but it can't come back the other way. So you have to stay scientifically and spiritually from the essence. You know what I'm saying? And so, you know, and so when you look at to the left, you see a map showing that, you know, this is their count that 200,000 years ago, our people started 
in East Africa, in Central East Africa, right around them, them uh, lakes. You understand what I'm saying? Because it's obvious. You got food. You got an unlimited amount of food. And then right next to the lakes, you know, the Great Lakes region is uh, the Congo. You see what I'm saying? And so, you know, right there, you it's obvious. You got unlimited apply, uh, supply of food. You understand? You can, you know, you uh, most definitely you can, you can, um, you can fish, and then fish jumping out the goddamn lake. God damn it! Some of them, you know, you you go if you go in some of them areas. If you ever seen the fish just jumping out the goddamn river, jumping out the damn lake. If you don't, if you don't buckle in, they've been to knock your ass into the lake. You understand? You be standing up on the boat, and the motherfucker jump out and knock you out the boat. And so that's how you know when you know it's just you know it's like the Garden of Eden, paradise, where you got food like that. So it was obvious that they would, you know, be in that area. And then, like I said, with the Congo, you just got vegetation. You know what I'm saying? You, you got so much herbs and natural healing and, you know what I'm saying, in the Congo. So you had everything in, in, in nature to excel on the, the highest level. You know what I'm saying? Into the, and they in, in the garden. They in the garden, pillaging. And see, that's the thing that we got, you know, ultimately, we're going to have to see this beast. There's just no if, ands, or buts about it. A lot of people think just fleeing, and that's all right. Some people can flee for a moment, but the, like I say, you know, in America, you're in the gut. You're in the gut. If you're, in them, if you're up there with them goddamn Europeans, you're in the gut. And some niggas think they can flee without defeating this beast, but you're still in the belly. You may not be in the gut. This cracker got a big belly. And so, goddamn it, you can run into one area of his belly and think, you know, without defeating him and bringing down white supremacy if you won't. You can see that they are, uh, you know, they have a, 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 a leash on many governments of the world because they have borrowed monies and they have signed contracts. And see, that's the thing. Motherfuckers then went to the U.N. and U.N. ain't been... Not a goddamn them. I mean, the UN is nothing but the colonial masters with a Halloween costume on trying to fool motherfuckers. The only thing is their uh, operation is co to com uh, co remain in control of their colonies in any which way. They'll make an illusion to, you know, fool you that you're free or that somehow you got some freedom of movement. And, and that's not so. And so many of these motherfuckers, even at these times, that signed on with the UN, signed on with the contract, they pulling that leash. Your ass won't get no food. They didn't already went in a lot of these lands and pillaged the soil. They didn't put shit down in the soil to where, you know, nothing to grow in that shit but the seeds that they give you. And then if you let them in there and they done you like that, and, you know, and they didn't, you know what I'm saying? And, they didn't poison the land and, you know, poison the seeds and shit. And so you didn't like this money. And see, that's the thing. People don't want to. But the ancestors told us that. 